you might have gotten hurt, you might have had to take some time off, or you might have just missed a session. And you're wondering, coach, should my calories change based on all of those things? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you the exact formula that you need to follow in order to make it work and continue to shred fat and weight. When it comes to if your calories should change based on your missing workouts, getting an injury, or taking time off, I'm gonna tell you that I need to ask you a couple questions. So the first things that I would ask you is how many days are you missing? Now, if you're only missing one day every you know, third day or whatever it is, I'm gonna tell you that there's no adjustments that need to be made. That whatever calories that you set out with your coach, that you can stick with these calories because ultimately you're still gonna be in a caloric deficit. And it's not gonna stimulate you to wanna eat more because those calories should be set up based on a long-term plan. So let's say that you have a week that you gotta take off for a conference and you won't have access to be able to do the similar workouts that you're doing at Fit Club and maybe you don't have access to the virtuals or you don't push yourself hard enough to get the same extent of activity that you would when you're here at Fit Club doing your workouts. So let's say that you work out five times a week. Now the simplest way to track is just to see your watch and make sure that this week that is coming up prior to your week off, you push yourself more than you would on a regular day-to-day -day basis. We gotta understand that we gotta create balance. So what I would tell you is that the week prior is to increase the amount of activity that you're doing because your activity is gonna drop down. So normally you're gonna sit right in the middle, but the coming week, you're gonna push yourself a little bit more. So what does that mean? It might mean that you do two workouts a day. You might do one in the morning and you might come back and do one in the evening. Or you might do one in the morning and you might force yourself to do a 15 minute walk in the evening. And by adding this extra activity, you're actually going to be burning more calories on the front end so that when you go into your time off where your calorie burn is gonna be lower, that if we keep your calories the same, in the end, it's gonna equal out. So the week prior, increase the amount of activity you're doing to balance out the activity that you are missing. Now the third question I would ask you is how lean are you currently? If you're extremely lean already and you're not going into a bodybuilding show or you're like not going into a like warm vacation where you gotta showcase your body and you're already lean, then I would tell you that just keep your calories the same because of the fact that you've got flexibility in your body fat to allow you know, some extra calories that you aren't burning because your activity dropped. So if your activity dropping next week and you're already lean, that if you gain a 1% in your body fat, that 1% is gonna be gone when you get back on track. Even if you went up to 2%, so let's say you gain five pounds in a week, let's say you go to an inclusive and you gain five to eight pounds, but yet you're already extremely lean, I'm gonna tell you that by Wednesday or Thursday when you get back, all that's gonna balance out because your body always wants to be neutral. So if you're already lean, and you slightly gain a little bit of fat or weight, your body isn't gonna let you stay here. Because why? It's so used to staying lean and your body's just gonna say, okay, well, the calories are gone, but the activity is back, so let's put them back to normal as fast as possible. It's the same thing like when you're overweight or you have you know, a lot of fat, what ends up happening is you might do a, you know, a short-term weight loss program and you could see a big weight loss drop, but then what ends up happening if you don't maintain the current activity and the food that you're eating for a longer term, then naturally your body's gonna stimulate hunger, it's gonna wanna give you less energy to do activity, and it's gonna find a way to balance you back to where you are constantly sitting. So your body always wants to stay in that steady state. So if you're lean, don't worry about it. But if your goal is to continuously lose weight, and you're already heavier to begin with and losing that weight and then going off for a week and then like increasing the amount of calories that you're consuming and decreasing the amount of activity, you're gonna rebound and you're probably gonna gain some. The fourth is when do you suspect to return? So if it's only a couple days, don't worry about it. If it's a week, if you're ultra lean, I wouldn't worry about it. Now, if you're in the process of just starting your weight loss journey, meaning that you were gaining weight prior to losing weight, then there's a good chance that you're gonna go back to gaining weight if you take too much time off. So my recommendation for you is that if you do need to take time off, then take a couple days off. But everybody's got the same 24 hours in the day, so even if you're somewhere remote in Mexico, mining up a mine where you know there is no access to a gym, 
you have access to right where you're standing. You can do burpees, you can do push-ups, you can do jump squats, you can do jumping jacks, you can do bench dips. You can pop on a virtual and follow the coaches or you can go for a run. There's no excuse for you not to increase the amount of activity that you're doing no matter where you are or what you're doing. Now, if you have an injury, that's a whole different story, then you need to focus on your injury rehab. But let's say you broke a leg. There's no reason why you can't do extreme amounts of abs. Right? That leg isn't going anywhere. You could lay on your back. You lay on your back because you're in bed anyways. You're sitting on the couch. So why not do some abs? You broke an arm? No problem. Let's do some abs. Let's do some legs. There's no excuse for you not to maintain the level of activity that you're doing. You just got to find the will. And when you find the will, you're going to find the way. So there we have it, guys. You're wondering, should my calories change based on an injury, time off, or if I missed the gym? Remember, you got to ask yourself, how many days are you going to be missing? What is your week leading to? prior to the time off, how lean are you, and then when are you gonna get back to regular activity? Now what I've done is I put together a one day metabolism boosting, it's got a meal plan in there, it's got an activity plan, it's got a detox plan in there. I put the link in the description, so go down to the copy, see more, and you're gonna see a link there. Click there, send me the message, and I'll send you over that plan.